Welcome to a new video from Enzara.com. In this video, we will be discussing the Tamil Nadu heat map by district Excel template. This is a free template that can be downloaded from Enzara.com and you will find the link in the description of the video. In this video, we will see how we can use that specific template to create our heat maps instantly. We will also cover the various features and the options available within the template. If you like such Excel templates and videos about these Excel templates, please subscribe to this channel. And if you find this video useful, please like and share with your friends. Thank you. Let's start with what is a heat map. A heat map is a form of data visualization where the data is presented in form of varying levels of colors. We use colors to understand the data faster and easier. Here we will be creating a geographical heat map where the area we will be coloring is a geographic division of a state of Tamil Nadu. Here this is a district. Each district can have a different color based on the data value for that specific district. For example, we can visualize the population distribution by district as we see here, literacy rate by district, or any numeric data that we have at the district level. There are also other types of use cases which we will discuss later. This Excel template allows you to enter your own data at the district level and visualize that instantly. There are several options to customize the heat map as well. Now let's talk quickly about the features of the template. In this template, you can enter your own data at the district level and visualize in a heat map instantly. You can turn the district names on or off on the map. You can turn the data values on or off on the map. You can choose a gradient color scale like we saw in the previous screenshot, or you can do a custom color range like we have done in this screenshot. You can have up to seven different data ranges and also you have 10 colors to choose from. You can enter the title and also the comment that can go on the map. You can easily print or export to PDF and share. You can also write just copy and paste the image in any other application such as PowerPoint or Word or such. And you can also enter the data on the districts in any different order. The only thing is that the name of the district should match what is expected in the template. Now that we have covered the features, let's take a look at the template itself and see how we can create our own heat maps using the template. Now I have the template open and we are in the heat map sheet. And here we have the simple set of instructions. There are three steps and the, we have the data table, we have the settings, and then the heat map image itself. And this is all that the template has. And so the first step is to enter the data in the data table. And we have 32 districts, and we also have default data, and the data is for the population of each district. And the source of the data is Wikipedia. And the names, just wanna specify here that Please make sure that the name, if you are typing it in again, um, please make sure that the names match these values. And if the names don't match, then they will not be colored in the heat map. And um, the names and the spellings are taken from Wikipedia, though there is some inconsistency even within Wikipedia on the English spelling of the district names. So as long as you're following the names, the spellings that are here, um, the heat map should work perfectly fine. And if in case you want to change the spelling, I will have um, instructions on how to do that later. Okay, so now the data value is where you're going to enter the data which will be represented as colors on the heat map image. And so here we have entered the data. You can type directly here. For example, if I want to type a different number here, um, so let me say I want to make it a bigger number and I will just type that in and now you see that this specific district Arielur is now green because that is that has the highest number and if I undo and make it the smaller number that it was now the heat map 
uh, will update to reflect the color. So this is how you can enter your own data in this column. And sometimes if you don't want to type and you already have the data in a spreadsheet or a digital form, uh, then what you can do is to copy and paste. And I'm going to just show you quickly how we can do that. So let's say this is uh, how you have the names and the, um, the values. And you can just right click and copy. And please note that it doesn't have to be in the same order. You can have it in any order, but then spelling should match what we have in our template by default. And so I go back to the template, click here, right click, paste value. So this is very important that you have to do it as paste values. This makes sure that nothing else is broken. So we do paste values. And since I'm pasting the same values, you will not see the difference in numbers, but you saw that the, the numbers were pasted and uh, this is the right way of pasting data if in case you have the data already in a spreadsheet. Okay, so that's the first step in entering the data. Second step is uh, controlling the settings to make sure that you can customize it in certain ways. For example, the district name can be toggle to no, which means that you don't see the district name appear. Instead, if you want the data value to appear, you can just choose yes. Uh, and then now the data value you have here will get displayed. Um, you can also choose both and it's gonna be kind of busy, but if you need both, you can still have it, especially if in your case, the data value might not be such a long number, it might be a very short number. In that case, it will not be that busy. So you can you have that option to choose both as yes. So let me put that back to no. Now the next option you have is a color scheme. So you can have the gradient color, which is what you see here right now, which is um, dark green to dark red. So in order to show you what exactly the gradient thing means, I'm gonna go to the map and you can see the color scale that we have used. So this is what is the default gradient color scale. So which is the lowest value will be this red and then the midpoint would be this kind of gold and then the uh, maximum would be this green. So this is will be followed based on you know the data you have, the colors will be chosen automatically uh, for each district. Okay, so that's the um, gradient color. Now we also have uh, the option to change um, to a custom color range. When you do that, you will see this table appear and this table represents uh, the data ranges. Um, the way to interpret or read this is from one until 10 lakh minus one. So which means um, 9,99,999. If the value is between those, then red color will be used. So you can see that there are three districts which are in red color. And you can see that, for example, Arialur is seven and a half lakhs, and that falls in this range, and that's why it is colored as red. Um, and any, any district with value from 10 lakh to less than 15 lakh will be in brown from 15 lakh to less than 20 lakhs will be orange similarly. So we have all these and then the last one is anything from 40 lakhs and above will be in gold. And you can see that for example, Chennai, which is 46 lakhs is in the gold color. And um, uh, I don't think there is another um, uh, district which is in gold and this is how the table is used to color. Now let's say I want to change the ranges and I can just type in a different number. So instead of 10 lakhs, I can I can type in, let's say five lakhs. And so now the, the district Arialur, which was earlier in red, now moves into the next range because it's greater than or um, greater than five lakhs and that's why it becomes now brown and let's say okay I don't want the brown color can I choose another color for this range yes you can there are ten colors that you can uh, choose from very easily and let's say I want to make it um, yellow and now what happened is every district from five lakh to less than 15 lakhs will be now in yellow 
So this is how you can control the color. You can also control the data ranges and you can have up to seven ranges. And let's say in a, in a case where you don't need all the seven values, you just need um, two. In that case, you can just remove these, for example. And then now everything five lakh and above will be yellow and you see that the entire state is yellow because everything is about five lakh at or about five lakh so this is how you can have fewer data ranges you don't have to use all the seven you can use one two or up to seven and you can change the colors and if you want to change everything to blue this is how you can do it um, so we um, have all these options so now i'm going to undo so that we can go back to the setting we had before okay um and now that's the color scheme and in a in a separate video i i will show how you can even add more colors and um, change things further but with what i demonstrated just now you can change to any of the 10 colors just very very easily you don't need to modify anything okay now you can enter the title and the comments that title goes at the top here and then the comments will go here so if you have any interesting insights about the data and what is the message that you want to communicate you can type that in here um, or if in case you don't want to do anything you can just leave it blank and you saw you saw that uh, this disappeared so this is how you can put a comment if you want and the title on the image okay let me do undo okay the third step or the final step is the actual printing or the viewing of the heat map you can already view the heat map so if this is what your uh, ultimate objective was then you can view the image here uh, in many cases we would want to either print or export or copy and so let's talk about how to do that so you can go to file and then hit print and then now you will see that the print preview will appear like this with the data as well as the not the data but the settings and then the um, heat map itself you can um, print it as it is and sometimes you may want to just print the map and um, so in that case what you can do is to come back here select cell l2 and then go all the way i'm doing shift right arrow and then i'm going shift down arrow and then now i've selected the entire area here let me just back out okay so we've selected the entire area here and now what i'm going to do is to go to page layout set print area now this will actually change the print area and when i go back to print now only the map image will be printed so this is how you can uh, print either the image or the settings together you can also go to file, export, export PDF. They export PDF and then you can give a name to your PDF and then that will save as a PDF document you can share. The last option is you can just copy this image. So for example, I could do right click, copy, and now this will copy this as an image. And I can go to um, any of my other um, applications. So in this case, I'm gonna go to PowerPoint and you can see that I can right click and then paste as a picture. And then now I can use it in my slides for the PowerPoint presentation. So this is how easy it is to put it in other applications such as Word, or you can put it in OneNote or any other application, or you can just save it as a, an image and then um, email or share as well. Okay, so we've talked about uh, how to enter data, how to change the settings, and then how to finally take the output of the image uh, of the heat map. So please download this Excel template from this link, and the link is also provided in the video description below. Please post your suggestions and feedback in the comment section. And if you like the video and find it useful, please like and then share with your friends. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to receive notifications of all new videos about Excel templates. Thank you very much for watching this video.